Right, so we all understand how important rotation is in the golf swing. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a great drill so that you rotate as well as you can during your backswing and during your downswing. Right then guys, so welcome down to Ali Taylor Golf. If you're a new viewer, hopefully you enjoy today's video. If you're a returning viewer, hopefully you enjoy my content and that's why you've come back for more. Now, if you do enjoy my content and you don't currently subscribe, please consider clicking the button below. Remember to ring the notification bell and then you'll find out whenever a new video drops from me. But for now, let's talk about the best concept for rotation in your golf swing. Right, so golfers, particularly when they look face on, are very, very aware that we need to have the hips turning, we need to have the body turning, the shoulders turning in the golf swing. But I think a lot of the time golfers kind of struggle with it and they kind of stand there and they go, right, okay, I need to turn my shoulders. So straight away we see some very kind of unorthodox movements that mean there's a lot of compensations in the golf swing. That's what you see generally with shoulders. Hips, I think you see people go, right, I need to move my weight and then try and turn. And again, it just becomes a very disjointed and I think a very unnatural movement. Now, I'm just gonna show you something here, and this is just so you understand how you naturally turn your hips. So if I come to the back of my studio and kind of walk towards the camera. So as I walk there and as I walk backwards, you can see my hips look like they're turning. And even as a result of that, my upper body moves as well. Now, the funny thing is, I'm actually walking in a dead straight line. So if I were to get into my golf posture, and let's say I just wanted to try and turn in my backswing. In theory, I don't need to think about, right, can I turn my hips? Because my upper body moves differently. If I just thought about my weight's pretty 50-50 in my feet and very much over the kind of middle of my feet, if I just move, push the weight back into my heel, you can see my hip goes behind me and we start to see rotation. And as a result of that, as my hip goes back, the pressure's gone back in my foot, as my hip goes back, then my upper body starts to turn with it. So that's really, really easy. And if I were to do that on the way back, that actually wouldn't be, obviously if I then move my arms, wouldn't be an awful position to be in the backswing. So then if that's how I did that on the way back, and I can feel as my pressure goes into my heel in my back foot, it goes towards my toe in my front foot. So if I were to then reverse that on the way down and kind of feel I push my heel back, we can see as my hips move, my body turns. So that becomes a really, really easy way. And I think, and I've, I've done a quick video on this in the past. If you were to just stand there and kind of feel that you had your weight kind of relative to your feet there, going heels, toe, heels, toe, that way, you can see how that body starts to turn. And from this angle, if I just get that pressure moving in my feet, we can see how the body starts to turn. Now, what I really, really like with this as well, is a lot of people talk about, you know, when they turn, they find it very hard to strike the golf ball. So if we kind of stay very centered when we turn in our golf swing, it's much easier to control the low point because it's not moving around too much and therefore strike the golf ball. So if I were to do that movement that I spoke about there, so from here, I just feel that that weight pushes into that heel on the way back. We can see there, my hips have turned. I've still stayed very central. I've not moved off the golf ball in order to do that. Because if I move off, I've suddenly got to move a long way back then my hips are going this way, not back and out the way. If we look from this angle, a very common fault with a lot of golfers is if you drew a line touching your backside there, is a lot of golfers when they swing back, they move away from the line and we don't see any turn. So again, if I get that pressure going back, we can see I'd be back against that line, even behind the line. And then on the way down, pressure goes back, hips stay back, lots and lots of room to swing into. So you can see the idea of turning the hips is actually more of kind of straight lines back and forward with the pressure in your feet. Now, if you're not used to feeling this, 
it can be a big change. So what I would say is initially just take the golf ball out all together. Actually just have that feel of can you do back and forward. And then try and make some smallish swings. Just focusing on what your feet are doing. And for me, that feels good. Now, one of the reasons I really like it as well is for me, I think I'm quite good on the way back. I think on the way down though, my tendency tends to be that the weight moves forward in my feet, my hips move nearer the golf ball, and therefore my hips don't turn out of the way, they stall, and I try and hit it with my hands. And when I get that shot, I get that little left one, which there we can see that disappearing into the water. So even with that little swing, I'm not gonna focus on where this golf ball goes, but I'm just gonna try and get that feel that pressure back into my heel, front toe, and then reverse that pressure. Okay, so that's in the bunker. That's pretty much where that's aimed. So let's just move where I'm aiming to give me half a chance. So I wouldn't worry about where the ball's going to begin with either. Just get that feel for the pressure moving more straight lines in your feet. And you'll feel even with those little swings, you'll actually start getting some really straight shots. And you, with such a short swing, you'll actually start hitting the ball quite a long way. So obviously for the purposes of today's video and not making it maybe a 30 minute, 40 minute, hour long video, I'm not gonna run through that all the time, but as you get more comfortable with that, start to put a little bit more length into the swing. Still just focusing on what you're doing with your feet. That one didn't feel quite as good as the shorter swing. So I felt really good on the way back. That felt great, but on the way down, didn't really feel that I got the weight going back into my heel and then trail toe. So let's try and exaggerate that feel a little bit. That was about, definitely a better movement. And then once you feel that you're getting comfortable with that, then actually it's almost the quicker you can move that pressure, it's almost like you're accelerating the pressure into the ground more and apply more pressure. So we should see more club head speed. So let's try and put a little bit more quickness into how I move that pressure in my feet. About a lot quicker, definitely going a bit left, so not quite as good as I could have done. Let's go to the couple of those. And definitely, most golfers you don't see enough rotation. Even though they're trying to turn, like I said, you see too much side to side movement. I, and anybody who's watched my videos, I did a review with the G-Box and it definitely highlighted for me on the way back, I don't get enough turn on the way back and then definitely don't open up on the way through enough. Now the easy thing for that is, the better I move that pressure in my feet, the more my body has opened up and the more those hips have moved as we've discussed. So let's go one more, try and do it full speed, see if we can get this one on the green. Oh, absolutely ripped it. Very straight, middle of the green. So guys, like I said, rotation is such an important thing but I think so many golfers go about trying to turn when actually if you can start moving the pressure in your feet in straight lines, your body reacts to that. Our body reacts to the how we move the pressure in the ground. And if you can in your backswing move your pressure from the middle of your foot into your trail heel and allow the front foot, the pressure to be more in the toe and then quickly reverse that, the body's gonna turn better. You're gonna swing the club more on plane, better path, more club face control, and you're gonna hit more good shots. So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like it and share it. Comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you have enjoyed the video and you don't currently subscribe, 
hit the button below, ring the notification bell, then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.